In this video, I'm going to talk about what you can do if you've in installed an update to CoinManage or perhaps you've upgraded from a previous version. And after installing the update or upgrade, you run the program and all you see is either like just one coin or you see you may see nothing and just have, just have an empty list here. And of course, you're wondering what happened to my data. Well, um, we, we do quite a few ro remote controls when this happens. and in this video I'm going to explain what the problem usually is in, in these kind of situations okay so first of all first of all I've got the uh, upgrade running and I'm going to select file go to data folder and this is going to open the folder where the current uh, coin coin managed database file is located it's called coin DESC as you can see here so what we need to do is uh, in most cases you're just going to bring up another uh, instance of the this um, Windows File Explorer. You can do it quickly by just selecting uh, Windows key E and that'll bring up a second one. So what you can do here is you're going to click on your hard drive and here my hard drive is the C drive. And so here in search Windows up in the upper right I'm going to just type in coin dsc.mdb and then click the return key and what it's going to do is it's going to look for any other instances of your uh, data file on your entire hard drive and that's what this is what usually what the problem is we find um, another instance of the uh, coin managed database file and um, I'll show you later how we move it and uh, replace it Okay, so the search is finished. It actually took a few minutes, but I speeded it up for the sake of this video. And so we've got three results here. We've got coin desk in the users, Dougie documents, coin managed data. This is the one that you're seeing here um, that just has the one coin in, coin in it that we just installed. You've got coin desk 2019. That's just an import file. We, we actually will use it later when we update um, an older file. Um, so it's, you don't have to be concerned with that one right now. Uh, but the third one here, um, I kind of simulated what I've seen in a lot of remote controls, and that'll, that'll be the user will have another one in another folder. And so we see here that there is another one. And so if we right mouse click, we can select Open File Location, and that'll open the folder where this data file is. Now what we want to do is this. Okay, go back to the first window. Now we could replace this file, but I don't like to re delete or replace data files unless I'm 110% sure that I'm not going to do anything stupid. <laughs> um, so let me just call it CoinDesk2, rename it CoinDesk2. CoinDesk now here, back in the um, C program files x86 coin managed folder where I found the third CoinDesk data file, I can just copy and here I'll say paste. And so what's going to happen now is since my coin managed data folder is set to this folder here, the next time I run the program, it's going to open up this third data file that I found elsewhere on the hard drive. So let me just run coin manage again. You can see here it's found this would in most cases, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm doing a remote control, the customer says, yeah, that's my old data. So uh, this is the old data. Now, it's possible if it's an older file from like 2017 or 2018 or older that you may need to update it. And updating the update data file, what that does is just it just adds all the latest like 2019 or 2018 coin issues into the program and the latest values and things like that. So I'll select File, Update Data File. Okay, so now after this is finished, the, what you want to do is exit and start the program again. So let me start again. And um, at this point, everything should be okay. Now, like I said, from personal experience, virtually every time a customer has thought they lost their data, I've gone and found it somewhere. Usually it's on their C hard drive, their main hard drive. Sometimes it's uh, somewhere else where you don't expect it to be. Uh, but um, so... Hopefully this is helpful for some people. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.